I'm just really happy and uh, it doesn't matter if I'm the first or second or if my first time if I know and I don't know if I do. There's a, I can tell that it's very difficult for you to talk now, so we'll talk to you another time. Congratulations on a fabulous performance today. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> No, pretty incredible. Obviously, the emotions just overcoming. Here's the he and his compatriot from Grace exchanged shirts after the match. And so excited, so overwhelmed that he basically can't talk. I mean, I just can't even. I've never seen that. I've never, never seen it. emotional players, but that's taking it to another. Obviously, this means so much to him. Oh, it was incredible. First, they had, before they took the shirts off, they, they embraced for about 20 seconds. And you could tell what it meant to him. And living out of his car, what he's been through, and now he knows that's it. I mean, he's at the big time, and, and maybe now he's, you know you start dreaming about. Okay, I can win. Yeah, well, he certainly shows that he's got the game. We talked about the big serve, uh, the big weaponry off the ground, but what he has, I think, that both of us see, Brad, is he's got a little something extra. He's got some finesse to his game, but he's also got a lot of charisma and some major shot making ability, not just with the serve. Oh, no, the backhand, I mean, was tremendous. But the closing time here, one minute and five seconds to close it out in the biggest match of his life. This is a thing of beauty. And I know you, you been in the coach's box a few times, Brad, sort of on the receiving end of that when you coach Andre Agassi, for example, Pete Sampras used to do that. He was maybe one of the, maybe the greatest closer, but it tells you something about the character of the player, doesn't it, when they can step up to the line and do it the way Jersey did in the biggest match of his life. All three sets, when it came to closing out the sets, there wasn't an ounce of a hiccup, and he's so relaxed. The shot that surprised me more than anything today. His backhand is way better than I thought, and for six foot eight, this guy is an outstanding athlete and a great mover. He is moving up the ranks. I know he'll move up one spot today, going from 18 to 17, potentially top 10 if he wins the next match. This guy's style is on the rise. You know how you put a sell, you put a hold, I put the buy right now on Jersey Boy. Yeah, Jersey Boy looking good, and obviously I think we could see from his emotional reaction and response what a journey it's been for him to get here. Now the question becomes, how does he regroup? We don't know who he's going to play yet. Obviously, if he, if he plays Rodasco, you probably say he's you, I mean, like all of a sudden, it, it, in your mindset, yeah. can you imagine playing an unseeded player? I mean, he doesn't play like one. But potentially play Verdasco to make the finals of Wimbledon or Murray, which dramatically changes things. Right. You go from to favorite to underdog. Well, let's just talk about it because we don't know who he's going to play yet. Obviously, he's a bigger, he's an underdog against Andrew Murray. But just his own mindset, what does he need to do in the next two days to get himself ready, to get himself prepared to step out onto that center court and play in the semifinals? You know, keep the routine going. You focus on if you're camp, you congratulate him. You don't celebrate have your practice, your return with dinner, and then start game planning tomorrow night, getting ready for Friday. Don't get too overexcited. You can see how overwhelmed he was. He couldn't even speak. He this. couldn't even speak. I mean, he was like, he was numb. Uh, I've been that one. I've seen the dentist. <laughs> well, no, no, hopefully we won't have to do that. But uh, it was not like an appearance of the dentist watching this today. It was a pleasure uh, to see these two players coming from the Remember, this was a section of the draw that had Mr. Fetter that has Mr. Nadal, that has others as well, but it's this man who's standing in, in disbelief. He booked his place in the final four at Wimbledon.